What is up, you guys? I'm Scarver here. Welcome back to the video. It's a very happy day because Roger E. Brogy's back after six years of being taken out of service for an overhaul. He's finally he finally returned to the rails, and he looks and he looks brand new. And I also made the sign for him. A welcome home, Roger E. Brogy. Yeah, I have. Roger has been gone for six years, and he's been up at Strasbourg for a rebuild. And finally, he's fi he came back, and now he's pulling train. It's time for him. Like, looks like it's time for him to leave. I'm gonna hold the sign here. those friendly faces already not to worry on this train it's never goodbye it's always see you real soon para su seguridad permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos brazos pies y piernas dentro del tren y cuide a los pequeños goodbye roger Welcome home. We missed you. Now, now that Roger's gone, we, I'll see if I can get, get in. I'll be the last train so we can protect your video from going all around the park one more time. Now, while I'm here, just back, let me discuss the history of this locomotive and how it became the Roger E. Brogy. In 1925, the Baldwin Locomotive Works built a brand new 4460, no, and um, I don't know, I forgot what what the original number was. I think it was two. It was two something. It was it was two. It was two something. I don't know exactly. And after its construction, it was shipped to the Baldwin Locomotive Works, and, it was, and I mean, sorry, I mean. After construction, she was sent. The engine was sent to Mexico for the the rest of Yucatan, and it ran. And it pulled passenger freight, sand trains, all the way up until 19. All the way up until it, it, it was retired in 19. Somewhere probably around the 50s. In 1969. A man by the name of Roger E. Brogy and a, and a team of, of railroaders came about, and they were tr and they were trying to find steam locomotives to purchase to, to use for the for the, for the new Walt for Walt Disney World when it was doing under his face construction. Jerry Best found to go, went to them to Roger and explained that 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 he found five now uh, some large now steam locomotives were up for sale in Mexico. So they went up there and purchased five. And a total cost of forty-two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. After that, they were shipped back back home to the, to the United States. When they were restored and restored into the engine, no, and engine three was named after, of course, the man. And, and of course, that's when the Roger E. Brogy engine three came into the came into the family. Now, Roger, of course, is named after one of Walt's very first engineers, the Roger E. Brogy. Roger Brogy was the man who held build. Um, his one eight scale little bit locomotive that ran around his backyard in Hobby Hills, California, for the Kilo Pacific Railroad, and 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 he and he helped build the track around it. After he and it was and they decided to name after him. After he passed away, the name was given to Engine Three. Now Roger Brogy um, ran and well, actually, um, Roger is 
fun fact, it's a brother locomotive to Engine 1, the Walter E. Disney, named after the man who made Disneyland and his backyard railroad, Walt Disney. And they were brother locomotives because they were both built in 1925, but their serial numbers are off by one. After, after maybe almost 50, almost 50, three, four years of four years or or more or more or more years ago, Roger continued running for the railroad until 2018 when the railroad closed to make way for Tron My Cycle Run. By that time, he was kept on the, Roger was kept on display here in Major Station until she was taken to Strasburg until after being brought back to the roundhouse, she was pulled out of service for and taken up to Strasburg for a rebuild. And that rebuild lasted until um, 2023 or 20, and 20 and, and last year, Roger Bogut came back to the Walt Disney to the Walt Disney World Railroad and began performing test runs in the park. Finally, and until, until finally, yet until finally, on Wednesday, on Wednesday, Roger re- officially returned to pull trains again. Again, after a six-year absence and a six-year rebuild, he looks brand new. New. They, now, they did do some changes. One, they removed this heat exchanger made by one of the Imagineers, George Britton, and they computerized him. So so now, you just pre- don't let the fire up. Instead of just throwing a ball of waste, you, you just press a button, and it will, and there will be a sparking device in there to spark, that will spark the fire once you add the fuel in. It doesn't mean there's any changes or anything. He still runs on steam. Instead, you have to pre- you just press a button to get the, to get the fire started. And that's all. And and that's all for the return of Roger e. Brogy. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if there's anything else you want to know in the future video, leave a comment down below. Once again, until next time. Until next time. Uh, we'll see you later. Um, here comes. Here comes Walt. Good to have you. It's, it's glad to see Roger again. Again, and of course, and welcome home. And of course, welcome home. Welcome home, Roger. Jerk, once again. Until next time. See you real soon. Welcome, welcome home, Roger.